Definitely had some some good wins and some good results here and there. So we'll see how this goes. This should be a pretty pretty good little round one match. Uh, actually, it's probably like or is this round one or round two? Let me. See. It's round one. So the winner of this will face Perk Kong. Um, definitely not the <laughs> quite the prize for a win, but hey, you never know. Shadow Dot already with a nice start here. Good F smash. Yarg is going to get back to stage. I would imagine this is the kind of matchup where one character very clearly wants to keep the distance while one character very clearly wants to close the distance. A little teabag right there, probably a misinput. Okay, just kind of bails off that. I can already tell early that Yarg is not wanting to overextend for a lot of stuff. Probably knowing that, you know, it's Roy, so you're going to eat a nice hefty punish if you uh, are too unsafe. Okay, Shadow Dot here trying to get something started. Maybe looking for a shield poke right there. Off stage, remote bombs on the ledge. Good job by Shadow Dot to jump over that. Nair's going to hit on the drop shield. Boomerang, here that comes. Looking for some shield pressure. Yarg is definitely not playing passive. He's kind of like staying like just outside of Roy's burst range. You're not seeing him like full on camp, but he's obviously also not gonna you know commit to much. Almost getting the neutral B right there, just missing it. But uh, still on first stock here. Already about a minute and a half off the clock. Both players not committing to a ton right now. I think you're seeing uh, Shadow Dot kind of respect a lot of Link's options. The thing is, obviously, you know, Roy is more of the rushdown character, but Link has the close range options. Right there, though, going to eat a close range option from the F tilt of Roy as Shadow Dot gets the first stock. The remote bomb, and that's going to take it, and we're all even now. Two stocks apiece. Okay. Shout it out here, trying to get a little something started. Good pressure on the platform. Yarg actually footstooling out of it right there. Still a pretty even game. The bomb. Oh, I thought that. I thought he might pull the trigger. I'm not sure when that's actually actionable. Don't know. I don't think he can do it like in hit stun. So I don't think it's like like Rosalina or something. Right there, the get up attack onto the bomb actually. Just the shield. Yarg. Trying to be kind of patient in the corner, but Shadow Dot's doing a good job of sort of trying to keep him there. Right there, the little bomb recovery. Shadow Dot now with a nice lead. Okay, some safe moves on shield right here. Okay, good back air there by Shadow Dot. Goes off stage looking for more. You feel like that would have killed right there. You could have got to actually gets a shield grab on a Nair. Not the most, not the thing you see the most, and just like the first stock. Second stock gone with an F tilt. This one a little bit further away from the ledge, and Shadow Dot now with a one stock lead. But Yarg still fighting right now. Here comes the boomerang. Still getting chip damage. He's just not able to uh, kind of keep up with um, the hits that Roy's getting in. You just feel like Shadow Dot's winning neutral just enough more to kind of hold on to a lead. Up he had a shield, that's gonna kill, and that does it. So Yarg here, not too far off, only a 50% deficit. About three minutes to go on the clock. Shadow Dot though with some nice damage already. Hey. Okay. Actually catches him a little bit with the bomb right there, the boomerang. It feels like there's probably boomerang stuff he could have done out of that, but I'm not sure. Probably not at that low of a percent. Right there. Boomerang's the shield straight up. Doesn't take too bad of a punish for it. The up B, that's going to catch him. Now we got Roy on the ledge. He gets to the platform. Did it lag right there? Look, it lagged. Is my capture card lagging? That's weird. If it keeps going, we'll, uh, we'll look into it, but I think it's fine. Eating the F smash. He's going to live. Jumps in the blast zone. Up B, and he is back. The neutral B not getting the two frames. So Yarg with a big mountain to climb here. Link's definitely the kind of character that can slowly bring it back if needed, but it's going to be tough against a character with the kill power like Roy. You feel like just about any move will do it. Up B out of shield right there. Tries to jump over the boomerang, ends up getting it back. 
on the platform. Very precarious situation for Yarg. Hits the nair, though. Still in the corner. Now he's back. Both, both players just kind of trading stage control. And that's not going to kill. Up B. Such a close match. Two minutes on the clock. Oh, the boomerang. I feel like he had something out of that. Nair. Boomerang covers the... He gets the hit, but Yar just barely hanging on. And the and he holds down, and that's it. Yar brings it back down like 50%. Good stuff by Yarg right there. Even with a big deficit, staying cool-headed and managing to bring it all the way back. Finally catching with the little recovery. Such a close game and a lot of time off the clock too. That game already below two minutes. So game two here, same characters. Not too much else seems to be finalized on the rest of the bracket just yet. Actually, Takio beating Yeet 2-0, he will move on to winner's round two. Check on this game, though, in winner, winner's round one. So back to uh, back to PS2. Um, I, and, and I can see why this is fine for both players, just because it was a very close game. Both were probably, you know, okay with the way they played at least, so... You know, like what the, it was definitely one of those matches that, like, you know, one more neutral interaction win, one more, you know, move that hits could have certainly swayed either way. So we'll see what happens. Yo, my boy PK Mixtape, let's go, Juan. I see you. Let's go, I, Juan. How you been, man? I haven't seen you in forever. Holy moly, dude. This is Brady on the mic. Oh man, it's so it's good to see you, Juan. What's up, man? Right here, pretty even game. Um, looking for more. Yo, I know, man, loving the commentary. Thanks, man, I appreciate that. Just a little side thing I like to do between this and playing Bracken and just everything else, so it's a good time. F-Tilt right there gonna catch the tech in place. And Yarg already with a lead right here. Roy, though, definitely the character that can make something happen, though. Going for some um, Z-Drop stuff with the bomb. See a lot of top links doing that kind of thing. I don't know how prevalent it is though. F till that's not gonna do it. He bombs back, but Roy not ready to punish that. Ooh, actually gets the up B out of shield despite the down tilt from Roy. Gets the parry. Yeah, unfortunately at that distance, there's just not too much. I don't think you can really do off of a parry, especially on a move like that. So Yarg or uh, Shadow Dot with a bit of a mountain to climb here hits that, and now we're back to even stocks. Oh, just barely misses the grab right there. You don't see Link's grab is pretty good. You don't see that happen much. Right there, a little trade going on. Up he had a shield again. Shadow Dot getting hit by that quite a bit. Bomb at ledge though. He's off stage. Manages to make it back. Actually, does the side V off the ledge and gets it. Yarg definitely content just to kind of sit back and get some chip damage here, knowing he has a nice lead. What's up, Hammer Bro? Good to see you as well. And the remote bomb, and that will take it. So Yarg here with a nice lead in game two. After a close game in game one, things going things going even better for him here in game two, but Shadow Dot not of it yet, though. He is on his winner's stock right now. Good damage. Lots of extra credit already coming out. 39%. Eats an F smash, but not quite at kill percent just yet. Shadow Dot's back on stage now. Link in the corner. Right where Roy wants some forward air off the stage, and Link is dead from that. He caught his jump, I think. So now we're on last stock here. Yard trying to close this one out with a 2 0. Shadow Dot wanting to keep his winner's run alive. Needing to make something happen, though, down 73%. Yard just. Yard just taking the ch 73? Okay, I was like, that was a great recovery right there by Shadow Dot. And it looks like I am being called. Um, I'm going to finish up this match really quick on commentary, and then I will go play my match. I'm coming. I'm just finishing this game on commentary. I 
got it. All right, man. Yeah, I got you. I'm just going to finish up this one. So right here, Shadow Dot looking to make something happen. Down throw. Again, a pretty close game, but we saw last game how... Oh, eats the F smash, but not quite able to make it. And Yarg again tries the up B, but Shadow Dot ready for it this time. And in a reversal from last game, this time Yarg Shadow Dot takes it. And we're going to game three, and I'm going to play my match. Thank you so much, Juan. Overclock may be gone, but I am here, so there is some commentary. Too busy playing his matches. So getting into game three here after Shadow Dot brought that match back. The Link Roy is going to game three. A nice aggressive grab to start it off here. Oh, the landing up air, very nice combo starter. I'm sort of surprised that we're not seeing Yarg uh, use the boomerang more often instead of trying to uh, counter Roy up close, but he seems to have no problem going in there. A nice spacing jumping over that boomerang. Up smash is not going to take it yet. A nice parry. The up B also not going to do it, though. And that scary ledge trap. How do you deal with that? Lynx love it, and that bomb is going to do it. Huh, that was some Smash Ultimate pushback right there. Looking for the two frame, he's not gonna get it though. And Yarg making it back to stage. Shadow Dot immediately getting the stage control back though. Trying to make up this uh, deficit here. Ooh, looking for you at one of those cheesy Link Bomb combos. I'm not sure how true those are or how they work, but Shadow Dot gonna be avoiding it there. The weak back air. A nice get up attack. The bomb's got a hitbox always while it's moving. Seems like Yarg is just doing a good job spacing around uh, Roy moves, using his superior sword to uh, make sure that Roy can't get in and do his explosive combos. Oh, a nice, a nice patience running up with the shield. He's going to get a fat punish on that one. And seeing lots of spacing, as you do with two sword fighters, even with Roy. Oh, the boomerang coming back. That's going to lead into a nice conversion. He misses that technique to down smash for it. And then that calls out the jump. He is still alive, though. Some great DI. Shout out. Looking to get back some stage control here. And that one is going to do it. So we're looking at almost a full stock up now. Shout out. going to need to make something happen. Running in there, throwing the bomb away. He does not want to deal with that one. And they're both swinging. Nothing much is hitting. Oh, Shadow Dot gets a nice falling up air. A nice uh, catch on the landing there. He misses the two frame, unfortunately. Yark's doing a good job of mixing up his uh, rhythm here of between going back to throw projectiles and then running in there and using his long sword to uh, do some damage. Oh, he blows himself up the opposite direction. Okay, he's going to be making it back, though. A nice read on that jump. Shout out, trying to catch the two frame again. He's not getting it, though. Trying to get in there with that side B. That will definitely kill if he hits near the ledge. Oh, that grab just missing. Oh, and the spot dodge. Again, the grab. He's not going to get it. Shadow really wants to get this stock right now. And the unfortunate SD. That's so sad. You hate to see it. But that's going to be GG. And Yarg will move on.